This is not a comparison video. We won't be giving out buying advices today. Instead, we'll be looking at the evolution of SUVs. Mahindra's most exciting car in 50 years. This was the headline doing rounds in 2002 when the Scorpio was first introduced. An era when such sort of cars were non-existent in our market. There was the Qualys, there was the Sumo, and then there was a 600 crore investment made by Mahindra to take on these two. The result? A butch, imposing, powerful SUV that had its design carried out by a consultant based out of the United Kingdom. For Mahindra, the Scorpio was its weapon to take on its rivals. And it went on to start an immense cult following across the country. Even at a starting price of Rs 5.99 lakh ex showroom, the Scorpio looked more like a direct rival to the more expensive Tata Safari, which was the only other Indian SUV on sale at the time. Yes, the 2.6 liter direct injection turbo diesel from Mahindra was not even close to refined, but this very engine made the Scorpio the quickest diesel SUV on this side of the Pajero. In the age of the technologically advanced Mahindra Scorpio N, the unyielding spirit of the original Scorpio Classic still lives on. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of a vehicle that prioritizes rugged functionality without sacrificing livability. The engine, once known for its gruffy character, has been significantly refined, offering a smoother and more pleasant driving experience. Gone are the days of excessive body roll. Frequency selective damping ensures that the suspension tackles uneven roads with ease filtering out the jarring bumps and even keeping occupants comfortable. Sure, the features list might not be as extensive as its modern cousin, but the Scorpio Classic prioritizes substance over bells and whistles. It's a car built for purpose, a workhorse that thrives in demanding situations. But the significance of the Scorpio goes far beyond its technical specification. It has become an unwitting symbol of India's progress. Remember those dusty back roads, the ones that connected remote villages to the heart of the nation? The Scorpio was there, ferrying politicians on crucial outreach programs, connecting them with the very people they represent. It was this very vehicle that carried clients, their dreams, and the blueprints of a better tomorrow, venturing into areas where most cars wouldn't even dare to tread. While we wouldn't go as far as saying that the Scorpio built the nation single-handedly, it definitely, undeniably played a very crucial role. What we've not factored in for is that its swat and struggle has given access to wider road networks, better highways and more reliance on road connectivity, which means the era of ladder frame SUVs was brought on to an end by the very machines that helped us build this nation. And what has the market shifted to over the years? Modern SUVs are like rolling living rooms meticulously designed to keep you cocooned in comfort as you conquer long stretches of highways. Just take a look at the MG Hector, for instance. Plush leather seats mold your body, while an expansive sunroof bathes the interior with natural lighting. Advanced audio system delivers an immersive sound experience, and the integrated entertainment system keeps boredom at bay for all passengers across all age groups. For decades, Indian roads were teeming with hatchbacks and sedans lauded for their fuel efficiency and budget-friendly nature. Let's face it, these vehicles were champions of practicality, easy to maneuver in bustly cityscapes and a breeze to maintain. However, a paradigm shift has swept across the automotive landscape. SUVs like the MG Hector, that once relegated to a niche market, have undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving from rugged off-road companions into undisputed kings of the road. The rise in popularity can be attributed to the aspirational image modern SUVs build on. They embody a sense of power, a spirit of adventure, and a touch of status. Qualities deeply ingrained in the collective conscious of a modern car buyer. This trend isn't just about utility, it's about psychology. The commanding driving position and imposing presence of SUVs resonate with a growing sense of aspiration amongst Indian consumers. They see SUVs as a symbol of achievement and a reflection of their evolving social status. Consumers are no longer solely drawn to the rugged, boxy behemoths of the past. Manufacturers have responded to 
what we need offering modern SUVs like the Hector. One can argue about calling the Hector a true SUV, but in my opinion, the term SUV itself has now evolved with the times. This shift represents an intriguing question. Do we cling on to the rugged heroes of the past, the vehicles that helped build our nation's infrastructure, or do we embrace the evolving landscape of SUVs? Vehicles that promise a blend of comfort, technology, and a sense of adventure. I'll be honest, there is no easy answer. The old guard SUVs hold a special place in our hearts, a testament to their unwavering ability. But the future beacons with innovation and ever evolving technology. Ultimately, the choice lies with the individual, with their unique needs and aspirations from the road ahead. It's a tough one, I know.